Welcome to Cafe Zoom. Sean C. of Memphis, Tennessee, sent us directions to make mini ham and cheese quiches. Here's what you need to make about 12 mini quiches. Seven eggs, eaten with a fork. Three-fourths cup of milk. Store-bought pie crust. Chopped ham and shredded cheese. I have cheddar. And a muffin tin. Okay, first thing you need to do is preheat your oven to 400 degrees. And if you're not allowed to use an oven, make sure you ask an adult for help. Okay, then take your eggs and your milk. I love milk. And mix them together in a bowl. You can use a whisk or a fork. Doesn't really matter. But I think I'm going to use a whisk. Just mix them together, sorry. Look kind of like a whitish yellow color. Move that aside. Oh, 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 making a mess. Okay. Then, take your pie crust and open it up. And take a juice glass and make some circles from the pie crust using the juice glass. You can twist it a little, the glass a little, so it makes good circles. I guess it's kind of like a circle. Ah, there we go. Perfect circle. Okay. Put them right there for a second. Then, put them in the muffin tin. Just push it all the way down on the bottom. So no air bubbles. There. Okay. And put one here. Just push them right in. So they look like that. Okay. And you want to move this out of the way and take some of your chopped ham and shredded cheese and just sprinkle a little bit into the crust. A little bit there, a little bit here. You don't have to use cheese and ham. You can use anything you want, like vegetables or different types of different types of meat or even pizza ingredients. Then, take your eggs and milk and just spoon in some on top of the cheese and ham. But you're going to want to leave about a half an inch from the edge of the pie crust so it doesn't kind of like bubble over the end when it's cooking. Just a little bit more on that one. Go to this one. That's good. Okay. Then, using your oven mittens, put it in the oven for about 20 minutes or until the tops are golden brown. Brown, 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 brown. Yeah. You can also check to see if it's done by sticking a toothpick into the center of the quiche and if it comes out clean, they're ready. Okay. Here's one that's already cooked and cooled and ready to eat. So, bon appetit. <laughs>